What's going on collectors? This is Parlay J here with you today and today I'm going to take you on my second trip up to the card show. So myself and Silver Jackfy are going for round two of the Westchester County Center held uh, baseball card extravaganza, the winter extravaganza as they call it. So there's going to be a couple things that we're doing on this trip and I'm going to take you along with me again. Uh, one, we are going to be on the search for a box to purchase and break immediately after the card show from an undisclosed secret location. Uh, we may simulcast live on both of our channels. If not, we'll both be recording. It'll be on both of our channels. So that will be pretty fun and pretty cool to do it right after uh, a card show. We have no idea what we're gonna buy, so we'll see what's there. Um, secondly, I'm gonna be on a budget and it's gonna be a $200 max budget to see what I can pick up for that. And I do have one secret goal, and I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to obtain it on this budget, but it is to locate a Bowman Jack Flaherty rookie, probably not graded, but a, an orange refractor. If I can find an auto, that would be cool, but those are going for ridiculous amounts of money right now, so I don't think I'm going to get that on the budget. But if I can find one in an orange rookie Bowman, this will be a success. Otherwise, it'll be a success no matter what, because it's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun. So I'm gonna take you guys along again for the ride, and I hope you enjoy the show. Let's go. Yeah, almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we got 50% of the jack, so we're good. So this was definitely the coolest part of the trip amongst anything else. Silver Jackify and I ran into Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V. Maybe some of you still don't know who he is, but probably a very slight chance of that since he is well known across the world. He's a huge social media maven. He is all over all social media, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, you name it. And he is a huge fan of sports wrestling, collectibles, the Jets, football, baseball. And we ran into him at this table as he was trying to make a purchase on three Juan Soto Bowman Chrome Auto PSA 10 rookies, an insanely sweet lot. I felt a little awkward, so I didn't ask him if we could record him or get a selfie or anything like that, because I know he gets inundated with that. I think he was with his kids. I wasn't quite sure if they were his kids or not, but uh, either way, he just looked like he was trying to hang out at a card show, and I didn't really want to bother him. I spoke with him for a minute, shook his hand, um, talked to him off camera. That was really cool. But um, we did capture some very, very quick footage here. And if you listen closely, you can hear his voice. He's the one in yellow with the pretty cool kicks. 
uh, negotiating and ultimately closing the deal on these three Soto rookies. So very, very cool. And I probably should have just asked him for a video because that would have been awesome to have him on the channel. Um, maybe one day in the future, our paths will cross and then I'll, I'll just buck up and, and ask if he can be on a video and not worry about bothering people. But anyway, listen in. This was pretty cool. Definitely the highlight of my day. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V, at Gary V-E-E -E on Instagram and all over the place. You got 3150? Yeah, it's a second. Okay, thank you. Okay, Gary. Alright, so we just ran into Gary V. We just bought three Soto rookies. Uh, Bowman auto, Chrome, auto, Bowman Chrome, but it was pretty sick. So Gary V is lurking around here, so it's pretty awesome. I'll try to get a video with him if we can. So as I kept walking, I came across this really cool vintage card table and this 1954 Bowman Don Larson rookie that I've been really hunting for in great condition stuck out. Uh, so I put the camera down and I inadvertently captured the footage of me making the transaction. And I noticed a little bit of a ding on the card, so got the price down a bit. So listen in and see how it went. <laughs> you got better eyes than I do. But usually I'm buying a lot at a time, so. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I got to. <laughs> I don't look that closely. I don't want to know some things. <laughs> you hope they go away. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, have a good one. All right, so we got our first pickup. It's the uh, 1954 Bowman Don Larson. Just got this uh, fine gentleman over here. First purchase of the day. Looking pretty good. There's a little ever so small nick right here, looks like. So we got it a little bit cheaper than sticker price for that, but uh, looking good. And Lou Gehrig is smiling in the background too. I like it. I'm being filmed. It must be that good. No one filmed yeah. this crap. <laughs> So after that purchase, I worked my way over to a table where I came across this insane Mike Trout, one of one Bowman Sterling rookie uh, at SMR Collectibles. If you are interested in that card, give a call, Instagram, whatever, to SMR Collectibles because, man, oh man, if I only had the money, I would love to pick this one up. Looking at a little old, you know, Mike Trout rookie, one of one. Auto, no big deal. Take a look at this. They had the tickets 1 to 60. 1 to 60 for first season. Step up, red. 1 to 60. Auto. EGS 9. Second 9. You're after it. That's where to come. All right, so as a recap, we landed a Flaherty, not the Flaherty. So, um, Miguel Cabrera, Don Larson, and there's the Flaherty. Auto tops, lower end. Everybody was uh, wiped out today. We ran into Gary V earlier on in the day. Um, I got the video on of him shaking hands on a purchase yeah, for I three mean, Sotos, which is pretty insane, PSA 10 autos. I didn't have it in me to ask him for a video. I know I should have, I'm gonna regret this. He was with, I think, his kids. Uh, it was probably like, you know, please just don't bother me. So I tried to get a little bit of a video of him, but I didn't want to bug him. But uh, saw Gary V at this location. Second time I saw him and met him. I actually met him at WrestleMania before. Pretty cool. 
Um, and now we'll go over your Jack of Fives purchases in a little bit. We are going to buy a box and we are going to break it at a brewery. So, pretty cool show. Uh, having a lot of fun. We are about to head out though. We're at Wolf and Warrior Brewery, Mr. Silver Jackify. We had a pretty good uh, session, ran into Gary V. Now we're going to recap these cards. So we got the uh, Bowman Chrome first, the Wander, damn good condition. Tony Oliva, All Star Rookie Cup card. A lot of people like those rookie cups even more than yeah. rookies sometimes. Really nice. Uh, what year is that? 60. What was it? 61? 65. 65. The Acuna Heritage rookie. Of course. Gotta pick up a Jeter. Gotta get the Jeter. And then. For 20 bucks. The surprise of the day. <laughs> Joe Montana rookie. What possessed you to get that one? Know, I've always wanted it. It's kind of like, uh, you know, that, like the Michael Jordan rookie. Like, you gotta, you gotta own that car. It's like the Jordan, same thing. It's like the football version of the, uh, the Jordan. That's the one. And then we got a story about Joe Montana too, how the guy supposedly like knew him in college and all this stuff. Dude, I don't know. Do you believe him? No, nah, no way. Uh, <laughs> that guy seemed to know, like have a story for everything. All right, so those were the Jacks pickups. And then I didn't go nearly as big, but uh, we got a Don Larson Bowman rookie. Been looking for that one, pretty good condition. Oh, I should have done that last. Fell upon this Miguel Cabrera Tops rookie, pretty nice condition. And then it wasn't the exact one we were looking for, <laughs> but it was the only Jack Flaherty non base rookie in the whole joint. <laughs> everybody was saying, everybody was saying that we asked, there's a guy that's been around who just took every Flaherty. I just, I don't understand it. If it was you, please comment. I would like to know if it was you. If you're one of my 100 There was a guy before you that took all the flares. Every single one they said. They said there was a guy around, unless that's a story like that they give everybody. They're like, yeah, the guy came. But everybody was like, oh, flares. Oh, God. <laughs> who, who the hell knew? Anyway, so that's the recap. I think we did good. Now we're at Wolf and Warrior having some brews. Till next time.